Good evening and welcome to American Truck Simulator. I am Warehouse Goblin and I welcome each and every single one of you to the channel. And uh, so today what I'm wanting to do is, is I wanna get into uh, teaching on how to be able to add mods to the American Truck Simulator game. I know for me that uh, when I very first started playing, that's one of the very first things that I started getting interested in is being able to add the different types of modifications to the game in order to do multiple things like in order to make it look more realistic to have uh, better engines uh, to have different types of paint jobs available to me and the only way to do that outside of the game is the mods and i am so glad that that uh, these mods are available because it makes the game in my opinion it makes it so much better so stick around i think that you're going to find this very beneficial especially if you are new to uh, American Truck Simulator and uh, stick around. Okay, so there are two different ways that I know of uh, that you can go about adding mods uh, to the game. Um, and, and really there's, I think there's probably a few more, but these are the two main ways of being able to do that. And so some of the others, they are they are more in depth and, and literally going into the American Truck Simulator files and adding the mods directly to the files onto your PC. Uh, but these are a little bit better. Now these mods, these are offered through Steam and uh, right along with the game. And so all you gotta do is, is like, is so once you actually have the game, okay? Um, and you go in here, and here is the game underneath your library. And what you wanna do is, is you wanna go over to the tab that says workshop. And when you click on the workshop, it's gonna bring you to this, this screen right here. Now, if you look right here, there's a search bar. And in that search bar, you can type in just about anything that you want that has to do with a truck. If you see something that you, if, if you're looking for engine power or anything like that, uh, paint jobs, um, transmissions, um, in a, in a particular type of truck, you could put that right there in that search and it will bring up every single mod available through Steam for the American Truck Simulator. Now, if you go down through here on the right hand side, it, it will even break it down into, um, uh, into different categories into like the Freightliner trucks, internationals, um, the Kenworth, Mac, and so on and so forth. Um, now the, you got, uh, all sorts of different types of truck parts they have mods for and then what you'll do is is once you've found the mod that you're looking for it's very simple all you have to do is you go down through here and let's say for example we want to do construction site equipment cargo pack okay you click on that and then you scroll down and it'll it'll give you a little bit of information different pictures of the things that you can do with the mod um, and then you scroll down a little bit more and it will also down here on the description, it will tell you if there's certain type of things that you have to have in order for the mod to be able to work on your game. Okay. So, so pay real close attention to the description and it will tell you exactly how that mod uh, is supposed to work. Okay. And, uh, but all you do is, is go right here and you click subscribe. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you go ahead and you can minimize your steam and then you bring up American Truck Simulator. Now on here, when you open your game, before you hit continue or anything, you want to go right here where it says mod, okay? Mod manager. And it takes it just a, a second or so, probably based on, on your, uh, your processing power on your computer but it will bring you to the mod managing screen. Now, if you, from where we hit subscribe, you'll notice right here in this very top slot is the construction site equipment cargo pack. Now, all you have to do is, um, now what the cool thing is too, is you can actually hit it as a favorites. And then once you have some mods, because as you can see, I've got a ton of different ones on here. You can actually filter those out on, on how you want them to come up. You can just bring up favorites only. Uh, you can show only Steam Workshop items, uh, different things like that. And uh, so you just click on it, go over here to this arrow and hit that. 
boom it puts it right there in your active mods you go down here you hit confirm changes and once you've hit that confirm changes you go back out hit continue game and enter the game like you normally would now as you get into that it will tell you whether or not let me see if i can show you here as you hit confirm changes and you hit uh, go to continue game it will let you know whether or not that mod is going to work okay and uh it'll it'll uh give up a message now right now it looks like it's going to go through uh just fine and sometimes it sometimes it just basically has to do with like if you have a whole bunch of mods, it just matters of what um, what sequence that you have those mods in in order for them to work properly. Now, now it's not like that with all of them. So, so you have to, like I said, you have to pay attention um, to the description and, and how it says in order to be able to um, install those mods and for it to work properly. Um, and the way that that mod works, the way the mods work is everything has priority on it. And um, so let me go back out here. So say it'll take you right into the game. And then once you get in here, it will allow you to make changes uh, to your truck, okay? Um, let me back out, back out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you go back, you go back into the mod manager. Let me see here. Okay, so right here and how it does is if you notice at the bottom it'll say increase or decrease priority everything stacked from the top down is priority but this right now is is a priority mod on the game okay so sometimes other things have to take precedence over a certain mod in order for them to work properly okay so that is that is the first way of of being able to add a mod the next one is is you just come straight into the game and the other way to do it is to go directly in up here and to click on the steam workshop and it'll bring up a screen and allow you to access that very same page that i showed you to begin with on your on your steam account and that's that's pretty much it that's all there is to it and you can do that with all sorts of different types of mods and you can play around with them to see what does and what doesn't work for you some of my very favorite mods so far has been the uh the realistic mods and um they're a lot of fun i love being able to add a sense of realism uh to the game um now you'll see right here that i've got one called a super engine uh i highly recommend that one if you're just wanting to play around or or something like that because you can add up to ten thousand horsepower uh um on your engine with the truck it uh, it's it's a lot of fun so um but uh for the most part i like being able to use just a realistic type of mods but uh, if you guys uh enjoyed this and like what you see remember that i stream this uh american uh, truck simulator on every tuesday and thursday at eight o'clock p.m eastern standard time until about 11 or 11 30 at night and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you like it I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the video. Hopefully it's helped, helped one of you out there be able to add some mods to your game to make it that, that much more fun. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. And as always, stay safe out there. Warehouse Goblins signing out. See you guys.